Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to work another example of running a hypothesis test for a population mean when we have an unknown standard deviation of the population or unknown sigma. So let's jump right in. A researcher claims that the average wind speed in a certain city is eight miles per hour. A sample of 32 days has an average wind speed of 8.1 miles per hour. The standard deviation for the sample is 0.6 miles per hour. At a significance level of 0.1, is there enough evidence to reject the claim? All right, so let's start out by setting up a null and alternative hypothesis. So our null hypothesis is that the average wind speed is 8 miles per hour. And we are just looking at, is there enough evidence to say anything different? So is there enough evidence to say that mu is not equal to 8? So that means with a not equal alternative hypothesis, we are going to be looking at a two-sided test. All right, so that means that the area on, in each tail will be our significance level over two, or 0 0.1 over two, which is 0 0.05. So we've got 0 0.05 in each tail. So let's go ahead and find that T critical value. We know we're gonna have the same on both sides, just one positive, one negative. So if we start with the negative, that T critical value will be inverse T of our area to the left is 0 0.05 and our degrees of freedom will be the number in our sample, in this case 32, minus 1. So that'll be 31. So I get for that negative 1.696 and that means that the upper critical value will be the same value but positive, so 1.696. Okay, now that we've got our t critical value, let's calculate our test statistic. So our t star, or our test statistic, can be found by taking x bar minus mu and dividing by s over the square root of n. All right, so our x bar was 8.1 minus our mu of 8 divided by our s of 0 0.6 dividing by the square root of the number in our sample, which is 32. So calculating there, we get a t value of 0 0.943. The 0 0.943 would fall somewhere over here, which is not in the rejection region. So we here are going to choose to fail to reject our null hypothesis. So what we can conclude here is there is not enough evidence to reject The null hypothesis that the wind speed is 8 miles per hour. So just because we had a slightly windier sample, a slightly, slightly windier 8.1 miles per hour sample, that does not give enough evidence to reject the claim that the average wind speed is eight miles per hour. All right, guys, that does it for this video on a hypothesis test for a population mean with unknown population standard deviation. Catch us in the next one where we explore using the p-value method on a problem similar to this one. All right, guys, catch you next time.